lot of the work of the Living Inquiries is to look at what's my identity. We have a, an identity that's made up of all of our experiences, our memories, our opinions, our bodies, all of these things. And when we look, one of the inquiries, the unfindable inquiry, which is the topic of Scott's latest book, somebody mentioned reading, is how do I know that that's me? Well, I have a lot of evidence. We all have a lot of evidence that that's me. And we have a lot of evidence, too, that we need to, you know, protect ourselves, that we're separate beings. We have a lot of evidence for all this. But is evidence of an experience, is that actually me? So that's another way that we can that we can work with that connection and the truth and the compassion. And I have found that as I've gotten to know myself so much better, that I don't need to protect myself as much anymore. And that other people's opinions about me don't matter as much as they used to. And one of the reasons for that is because it's not as important what someone else thinks about me because I know myself so well. So I'm not needing to get approval from somebody else in order to feel like a valid human being because I put my attention inwards and I know who I am. And one of the symptoms of PTSD actually is that there's an inability to separate ourselves from other people's opinions of us. And one of the signs that someone is healing from trauma is when we become more locally oriented, that other people's words can be seen as, whoa, that's somebody else's opinion of me, and it's not me. And my own words about myself are words that are about something to do with me, but that words actually aren't who I am either. And as we start to be able to peel off those layers, then we have more access to the compassion and the truth. And knowing how I've tortured myself with my own mind so often and so long has been very helpful in terms of having compassion for other people because people tend to hurt other people because they're hurt. And if we can understand that, it doesn't mean we don't protect ourselves. It doesn't mean anything about how we move in the world, but it might mean that we can just have some more understanding and compassion and allow them to be as they are, just the way we allow ourselves to be as we are. You know, I put my hand on my heart all the time. And partly I do that to remind myself that I'm here (laughs) and that I could be kind to myself. And partly it's a way of connecting with other people too. And there's just something so simple about feeling the warmth of our own hand and feeling our own our own basic goodness. It really changes everything.